Hi guys, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. Have you ever wanted to be able to deploy an antenna really fast and just pull the wire out, hook it to your mast, stick it up? We'll stick around because I'm going to show you one today that's pretty fast. Man, guys, the things I do for you. Got two guys with blowers over there. And then over there, there's a, there's a guy over there with a blower. I pick the worst days every time. All right, let's see what we got. I might have caught something here. Fastest antenna in the west, east or central. Got 41 feet of here. Let's just keep it going. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think I got something. Yeah, I got some wire. Done, 41 feet. I don't know how many seconds, we'll have to check that. All right, let me set this thing up and uh, I'll show you how guys, how this thing sets up. First of all, we got like this. We're gonna stick it in the ground. Like that. We're gonna take these. It's my ground, my ground radio. We're gonna take it and we're gonna do like a, like the, uh, the commander says, he says, just throw them out there. I did pretty good. All right, let me set the camera up and we'll show you how fast this thing goes up. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see it or not. Right in the middle of the screen, I've got a, a mast already kind of ready to go. And it's about how far away I think it's gonna be. I just don't want this thing to be a vertical. So let me grab the line, pull it, and show you how this thing sets up, guys. I'll wait for the loud car to go by. All right, so what I'm gonna do, here's the end of it. I'm just gonna run it over here. At a nice little break, brisk rate. You just gotta be careful not to uh, pull it out of the ground at the end here. So I need to be a little longer than where my mast is, and there it is. Hook it up, and what I'm gonna do is just take this up until I get just a little slight bend in the pole, and then that should be high enough. Got the pole aimed a little ways away. Now we're nice and tight, that looks like. Now I can go one more. And that's it, all set up. So that was pretty fast. Like I did have a few things set up. I still do have to hook up the coax to it. And on this antenna, we're gonna use a, uh, let me show it to you. We're gonna use these beads in the front because this is a nine to one, guys. And we need something, we don't want it to come back our, into our radio. We just hook that up to the bottom here and we're all set up. All right, this uh, fishing reel antenna is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Ever since I did the, uh, oh, it was the Colin. He has the, uh, I forget what we call it. It's the, uh, well, it's the antenna you can rotate. It's very similar to one of the ones Step IR makes. It's a vertical and I've been wanting to do this and I finally found what I thought would be a decent reel. It was a little small, so I had to go nine to one, and that way I could do 41 feet of wire and 17 foot on the, uh, the ground radio. So it worked pretty good. Uh, I think the band changed. I think we had a solar flare today because I was hearing guys really good, and then all of a sudden they were kind of gone. But then I was getting guys that were over the hill, you know, 20 miles from me, really good on, on 40 meters. So I don't know what was going on with that. But hopefully sometime in this video, I did show you everything. I don't know if we're gonna offer this one or, or what we're gonna do with it. I may put, just put uh, parts down in the, uh, in, this, in the description down below for you guys if you wanna build this yourself. I'm not really sure, I, I'm not totally sold on my contact where the uh, wire contacts um, the actual, the parts you know inside the Wiro itself. It seems to be working fine. Anyway, that'll, you know, time will tell on that. So, 
hopefully you guys enjoy this video it's it's a it's a it was a fun little project you know colin's a great guy and i will leave a link in the description of his youtube channel uh, you guys if you don't know who colin is you need to find out he's one of the more dynamic guys that does real ham stuff i would is what i would say more so than just show you things you know like like we do sometimes but uh make sure you check him out colin's a great guy and colin actually does a a, a very similar he goes to more putting a box on it and everything i didn't want to do that i wanted to make it a little more compact so check his video on that on his fishing reel antenna too the guy just inspires me and makes me want to make more antennas okay i've got the infed uh set up the nine to one I've got some noise here, so I'm going to move off 865. This is 80. It's a little short for this. Let's just see if it'll tune. And it is tuning. And I'll just test one, two, one, two, one, two. And it's pretty good. One to one. All right, so it tunes everything up, guys. That's, that's a win win. All right, here's a New York station. He's not very loud. There is nobody on phone right now. Everything is CW on parks, parks on the air for some reason. I don't quite understand that. Must, maybe it's a special thing. I don't know. If you guys know, put it in the comments down below. I can barely hear this guy, so I doubt he's going to hear me. Kilo, Kilo 6 uniform, Sierra Yankee. He's not going to hear me. These way stronger stations out there. This guy's really low. Kilo, Kilo 6 uniform, Sierra Yankee. Yeah, it's Kilo, Kilo, Six, Uniform, Sugar, Yankee. Good afternoon. You are a 5-2 here in the park, Roger. Yeah, you're about a 5-2 and two also, 5-2 and two also. Uh, good signal, good enough. To, uh, you came up really loud the last time, though. Thanks for activating. Yeah, he's barely moving the meter there, guys, but he really came up, so that's good. South Africa. I'm going to try him at least one more time. He's still calling. Kilo Kilo 6, Uniform Sugar Yankee, KK6 USY. These guys are tuning right now. Kilo, Kilo 6, Uniform Sugar Yankee. KK6 USY. Okay, one more. KK6 USY, is that correct? That is correct. You're about a 5-5 five, five into California. Where are you located? Uh, yeah, well, first of all, you're a 5 on vacation. Oh, you're booming also. I just, I can't hardly see my radio. It's, it's really bright out here, but uh, great audio. Uh, the 7300 is working for good for you. I'm running a, an FT710. I uh, just got this thing, and uh, about the first time I've actually taken it out anywhere. All right, well, what I'm using is an experimental antenna that I just built. It's a, it's on a fly reel, a fishing fly reel, and it's a basically a nine to one uh, random wire, about 41 feet, and it's about, oh, maybe 20 feet in the air at the end. All right. 
right, thanks for coming back to me and taking one more. You have a nice day, 73. Uh, you too. Uh, take care. This is Kilo Alpha 1, Delta Mike Alpha. I'm now LBQRT. Thanks so much. Have a great holiday, everyone. That was nice, Evan. All right, guys, let me uh, pick this thing up and show you what I've got. I didn't really show it to you. Let's pull it out of here. So basically, <laughs> let me see what I'm, I'm doing here. So I put this on a uh, on a fishing pole, or you know, part of a fishing pole. I had an extra one laying around. I've got these little things, and I put this on there just to a stake. Now what I have is the reel here. Looks like it got a little muddy today. As I said, it's been raining here for quite a while. But on the backside, I built this little. Uh, I designed this up and printed it. It's two pieces. You got a piece under there that makes it flat, and then the piece up here to hold the toroid. And like I said, it's a nine to one tool right here. All right, and it's got all the parts. Very similar to our antennas that we do for uh, coffee and ham radios. The way this is set up, it's just, it's not a full winder. And so what we end up doing is, and I, I didn't put the other end down, but all I do is I just kind of take this and hold it like this. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll reel it and then move the line back and forth so it goes evenly. Yeah, there are reels that do that. But I am using, this is the uh, Poly Stealth 26 gauge. It's a steel wire, copper clad. I don't really like it for most winders because it gets these, it gets memory in it, guys. And that's why, and, uh, but for this antenna, I need something really thin and strong. So that's why I got it for this one. I'll, uh, let me take the other end down and I will pull this thing in for you guys. All right, what we have, guys, is the antenna here. This is the uh, counterpoise here. I just rolled it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to guide this stuff on. I'm going to go over to one side and just work my way over. And I'm also keeping a little tension on it so that it rolls in nice and tight. That way I have plenty of room. So you could probably buy one. I didn't spend a whole lot of money on this. It's like it was, I, don't, I forget, like 10 bucks for this thing. You can probably buy one that's, that's uh, got like gearing so it would pull up faster but this is still pretty much faster in than any winder that I've done at 41 feet this is 41 feet of wire guys it's almost here and like I said I'm just keeping a little tension on it so it stays nice and tight and it comes in and it'll stay there because I have tension there's a tension thing inside that I set I preset so this has a little tension when it comes out and then when it comes in it stays nice and tight all right and this wire, this wire goes through the inside to the bolt that holds everything on here. All right, so there it is, guys. Pretty simple. And it seemed to work pretty good. Wish I could have got the guy in Africa. All right, well, this was the first time I really got to set this thing up. It's been raining here. This is Thursday. It's been raining here since Sunday night. Uh, I was on the road Sunday, and I finally got a little chance today. It's still cloudy out. Uh, not the greatest day to th set things up. Then I get out here, and I guess you guys probably saw it. I got three different guys with uh, blowers, leaf blowers out here. And uh, so I kind of did something else for a while. I'm um, working on another antenna that we're thinking about bringing out for coffee and ham radios. Uh, uh, shoot, I guess that's the third antenna that we may be bringing out. <laughs> One of these days, we well, got a vertical coming out, but, but I was working on an off-center fed dipole, just trying to get it tuned in. Uh, it looks pretty promising, guys. Uh, but we'll to see how it works though, and uh, when we can actually get this thing on the market. But uh, so, if you guys got something in the video and you liked it, please hit that like. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all. That way, you get all my future videos. And I will have some more videos coming out on our new antennas. This one was just a fun antenna for me. I've been wanting to make this thing for a while. I'm Jack KK6USY. This is Ham Radio Ventures. Thank you for spending your time with me today. I know your time is valuable and uh, I appreciate you spending it with me. 73 all, hope to catch you guys on the airways.